Good evening. Welcome to Jam Time. I'm Pastor Lisa. Glad you're here with us tonight. Um, we're going to look at our Advent wreath, and usually we have four candles plus one. And next week we'll see the last candle, but this is the fourth week of Advent, and so I added a blue peace candle. So hopefully you're adding candles to your Advent wreath. So as we, we added our peace candle, I wanted you to think about how your week has been. Has it been peaceful or has there been like a lot of arguing and maybe fighting and, and, and those kind of things, not getting along? Or have you wanted your own way or were you willing to compromise sometimes? In the Bible, there's um, a book called Romans and it's in the New Testament and it's, uh, we're going to read from Romans 14, 19 says, so let's strive for the things that bring peace and the things that build each other up. So we're going to watch um, one of our movie clips from the Polar Express, and I want you to think about, as you watch it, how you see peace. So, where did you see peace? We saw the boy argue with the conductor about, he said five minutes, four minutes ago. Um, but we saw peace, didn't we, in the little girl and little boy who went back for the lonely boy. And sometimes we think about peace as fighting or not fighting, but peace is also about reaching out to help others. Like when they invited him to come along and said, yes, we'll go together, to invite somebody to, to join us, but to reach out to others. It's kind of like um, maybe if you're waiting in line, a long, can you imagine a long line to see Santa? Have you ever stood in a long line and you're about to get up to the front of the line and you're about to see Santa and you look back and you see that there's a ramp leading up to Santa for maybe somebody who can't walk very well or needs some assistance, maybe somebody with crutches. And so you have a choice. Do you hurry up to see Santa because you've been waiting all this time? Or maybe it's the child, the one who goes back to help the one um, with the crutches and helps him up the ramp and then waits in line till it's his turn. So you have to wait longer, but you're helping someone in the process. That's also what peace is about. It's helping others and reaching out to others so that together we can do things and that people can be included and be invited. 
So it's not just fighting, but it's also a way of reaching out and including others. Being able to wait in line with them and being able to put others, um, you know, sometimes maybe need a little help to be able to go out of our way to do that, even if it means something that for us that maybe we have to wait longer or we don't always get maybe what we were wanting. Our scripture again, I'd like to read it. It says, let's strive for the things that bring peace and the things that build each other up. So tonight, um, instead of um, a science uh, activity, I thought we would do, since it's Christmas, we do uh, um, two games, and they're minute to win it games. What happens is, is you have to do, you have a challenge, and you have to do it in one minute. So, I have my phone, and I'm going to set a minute um, when it's time, but the first challenge is, you can make your own uh, Santa, it's, good. it's a Santa challenge, you can make your own Santa uh, beard if you want or not. And so the idea is I'm going to put this cookie up here and I'm going to try to get it into my mouth without using my hands in a minute. So you think I can do it? Oops. Here we go. It's a pretty hard challenge. So maybe if I pull my... Oh! I was close. Maybe if I take my beard off, let's try it again. I still have 15 seconds. Can I do it? Ah, ah, not quite. Let's try it again. <laughs> nope, I didn't do it. But it was a good try. It was fun doing it. So if you have a cookie, Oreos work really good. Um, you can try it. And the thing is, we can fight about or get mad about not, not achieving it. Or we can just say, hey, that was fun. Let's try it again. All right. Our other challenge, our other game is down here. We have, we have six cups sitting here. And, and you could make it more challenging or not, depending on how far away. And the challenge is to get six, one marshmallow in each cup in a minute. So let's see if I can do this one. All right, here we go. Got it in this one. Yay! I did it! Now, obviously, the next challenge is to move them back further and further and see if you can still do it in a minute. So, some fun games that you can try to celebrate as you're celebrating Christmas. So, our Lego Village is filling up, and we have only one more day. So, uh... So today, what I did is I opened up this one, and so in our city, we're going to add a Santa sleigh. We'll add him up here, and his little reindeer. So, what do you think will be on, well, I'll open up in window number 24 tomorrow night. We'll see, won't we? So we want to finish up, almost, with our converse with our questions to talk about so that we can grow together 
during Advent, and our first one is, huh, what do you think is God's favorite thing about you? Hmm, that's a tough one. One of the things I think might be uh, God's favorite thing about me is that I, I have, um, is maybe my faith in God, um, and that I try to be nice to people. And here's our this and that, our snowflake. Our question is, would you rather be surprised or have something to look forward to? I think I'd rather have something to look forward to. That's a hard one too, isn't it? And here's our prayer. Name something. Um... Or it's to name someone they're thankful for. Um, and I'm thankful for my husband Rich tonight. So I'd like to read our scripture one last time, Romans 14, 19. Let's strive for the things that bring peace and the things that build each other up. And I'd like to add and encourage each other. Let us pray if you repeat after me. Dear God, Prepare my heart for our coming Savior. Please bring healing and help to all in need. And I'm thankful, God, for, for my husband, Rich, and I'm thankful for all of the, the children and, and people who are tuning in to Jam Time. Amen. Thank you all. Have a good night.